So I've just dropped out to one of my local rivers, the River Foss, here close to the centre of York. Conditions have dropped to absolute freezing now, so they've been all over the place at the moment. I thought I'd come down, see if it looks fishable. I'm not going to fish it today, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to catch you up on a few little bits that I have been doing over the past week. So welcome to vlog number two. We had a lot of rain very early last week, which really shot the rivers right up. They were all flooded already, but it really just topped them up, and it was pretty much impossible to fish them. I kept an eye on the UK river levels just to see if they were dropping and whilst they've fallen quite a bit now they're still a bit sketchy if fishable at all if I'm perfectly honest. I was actually in the city centre earlier in the week and the river ooze that run through the centre of the York was very very high. Uh, it's burst its banks and it's up into some of the streets which it does it every few years but I think it just really reinforces that it's not going to be fishable for some time now. With that in mind, I decided to do my first session on a local still water that wasn't actually too far away. I had caught a few fish from here, so I decided it was probably gonna be worth a go. I'm down at a still water where I'm giving it a go for some pike, but to be perfectly frank, I am not confident at all. It is freezing cold today. It is very, very windy, and um, I just don't think it's gonna happen. And obviously like, your perception of how you're going to fish as well is a big part of it. So if you believe you're fishing and you're fishing confidently, I found that you often do catch or you're more likely to do things that will maximise your chances, like get out there, move. I've come out today, nowhere looks particularly good. I've slung one rod out where, yeah, there might be a pike, probably isn't. It's little things like that, you know, I could try and fish too, but I highly suspect I'm just going to sit here for a couple of hours and then uh, go home. So, um, yes, still waters maybe probably won't happen don't feel it's going to happen on the rivers so i'm a bit snookered at the moment of what to do the conditions on this first session really didn't fill me with confidence for the week's fishing it's mostly the wind everything just looks a little bit bleak when conditions are very very tough I looked on the weather forecast and saw that towards the end of the week uh, conditions were improving a lot the wind was dying away it was a little bit warmer so a buddy and I headed out on the River Foss, the one I'm standing next to actually, uh, for a quick lure session just to see if we could get a pike or two. The water was still very, very high, but it was probably worth a go as it was the only fishable river around here really. We fished for probably about four hours on this session and it was probably halfway before we even had any indication of pike. I was fishing quite a big lure to try and create loads of disturbance in the water and eventually I did get a follow although it didn't actually take my lure. I got Sam to have a few casts in that location and he managed to hook into a little jack pike of probably about a pound or so. I was quite happy with that fish, you know, conditions were definitely against us so any fish on a day like that is a result I feel. So while we're on the topic of lure fishing, I'll talk you through a few of the lures that have become my favourite over the past couple of weeks, how I'm rigging them up and how I'm fishing them as well. So for probably 90% of my fishing, maybe a bit more, I've been using Fox Rage, these pro natural shads I think they're called. They're absolutely brilliant lures, um, they're soft plastics and I've been using an 18cm and a 14cm one. To rig these up, I've been using bullet weights or bullet jigs, depending on whatever you want to call them. Uh, these have got a cork through scred that just screws into the soft plastic really nice and easily. I've then been making up some stinger style little traces with treble hooks using some of the push-in pins, split rings and obviously treble hooks of your choice. So this is an example of a 14 centimeter one I've been using. I'm holding the bullet weight there and you can just see the stinger going under the belly with the hook hanging down nice and proud waiting for that pike to come along and grab it. And these lures for me really are the ones I've been fishing them all the time now, every lure session, and uh, the 18 centimeter one has become my go-to loaded with uh, two hooks there, so double stinger. Um, and you can put the five, 10, 15, 20 gram bullet weights on there, depending on how quickly you want your bait to sink as well. They've got a really nice action to them and over winter you can fish them really nice and slowly with that big paddle tail thumping away, creating loads of disturbance and attracting those pike. I've also been varying my retrieve to try and get the pike to take it as well. So usually what I'll do when I first go into a swim is cast out and give it more or less a straight, medium paced retrieve just to see if anything is up in the water a little bit and wants that bait straight off. 
On the next few casts, I'll generally throw it out, let it sink a little bit more, maybe a few seconds, five seconds, something like that. I'll then reel it in with a quick retrieve and then a pause to make that bait arc through the water a little bit closer to the bed of the lake or the river. Quite often when you pause is when you will get a strike. The bait dives straight down to the bottom, the pike sees it and kind of thinks, well, I'm not gonna let it do that again or get away. So it usually absolutely smashes it. On the next few casts, I usually then just play around. So I'll combine a straight retrieve with some pauses, with some faster winds, just to see if any variation of these will get a pike to take the bait. So hopefully any combination of these should induce a pike if there is one in that swim. So in most venues, I will usually start off with a natural looking color. I'll have a few casts around just to see if the pike are in a mood for a natural looking bait, particularly if it's a clear venue. If that doesn't work, I then very quickly swap over to a bright colour. This hot fire tiger has become a particular favourite of mine. It looks absolutely brilliant in the water. So yeah, I definitely recommend giving one of these a go. Well, it was brilliant to be into one fish on the River Foss. So I decided that conditions were looking up and it was probably worth trying to pursue a few more pike. I decided that instead of staying in on Sunday, I would actually go out fishing. The weather was so nice, I just couldn't resist. So I decided to head to a local still water. Well, it's a nice, bright and sunny day today. Uh, I'm just in the car, I've got my gear loaded up and I'm gonna head out to a still water, a lake. Um, we'll see what we can do there and I'll catch you up with what we're doing when we're actually lakeside and I'm rigged up and we're out fishing. So uh, yeah, we'll catch up in a little bit. This session actually turned into being reasonably successful. I managed to bank a few fish, nothing of any particular size, but it was brilliant to get a bend in the rod. This is actually going to be the topic of a future video, probably out around the weekend, so I'm not going to give too much away here, but safe to say I used my lures and two dead bait rods to get into a few small but very very nice and welcome pike. And this is actually a very good time to say if you're not subscribed and you want to look out for future videos as they come out, you can just go below, hit that subscribe button. It's free, it will always be free on this channel. Um, it's just about sharing fishing and sharing videos and I love hearing your feedback on them as well. So yes, have a think about subscribing. You can be one of the first people to watch any video that comes out on my channel. So just to get back to the fishing, whilst the majority of the fish fell to lures on this session, I did manage to snag a little extra fish just at the end on a dead bait. I was fishing just a standard float pike setup and I've actually done a YouTube short video on how to rig this up that takes you through step by step and I'll try and link that either in the description or up screen somewhere here so you can go and check that out if you want to know how I tie that up. Um, but just to say that it is actually one of my favourite rigs, particularly for still waters, it's really Really mobile and easy to use. You can duck in and out of swims. It doesn't create that much disturbance as well when you're dropping it in. There's no heavy weights or anything like that. So you can really just lure it in, see if any pike are there for half an hour, an hour, something like that, and then pack it down very quickly and just move on to the next swim. And I like to explore a lake by doing this and um, try and find out where the pike are. Are they in the shallows? Are they in the deep water? Hopefully you'll land a few and you'll start to learn a pattern of their behaviour, where they might be on different conditions, different days, things like that. Well, that has pretty much been my week's fishing. Lures have definitely been the champion. Uh, they banked me the majority of my fish, but now temperatures have dropped to sort of around freezing or just below. I suspect the dead baits might come into their own a little bit more if the fish are inactive. I can't wait to get out and uh, try some more lure fishing. I really wanna be on the rivers, so I hope they keep dropping and we don't get any more water. Um, speaking of which, I might just hoof it home and bring out a float rod and some bread for a little bit down the river foss and just see if I can get a chub or something like that. It's been a few weeks um, since I fished the river and indeed caught a chub. So uh, yeah, that might do this afternoon, I think. Anyway, if you've got any comments or suggestions for my pike fishing or anything else you wanna see, drop it down below and I'll try and read them and get back to you or incorporate it into a future video. And just to say thank you ever so much for watching and uh, keep your eyes out for a pike video later this week. Hope to see you in a future episode.